I'm back again, second rock today. I am going to create something hopefully that is simple. I think the hardest part of this is going to be the champagne glass because it's not really easy and doing it without any kind of special measurements or anything makes it a lot harder on yourself. <laughs> I wanted to give you guys two to choose from today for New Year's. If you're not going anywhere or doing anything, at least you can paint, right? With me. <laughs> so I have, uh, well, I painted it black, just the surface. I'm going to keep the bottom and the sides natural stone color. Um, you can do this on a handmade stone if that's what you like to do or if that's all you have available. Just paint it black first. Then I'm going to be using some metallic watercolors. Um, now, the ones that I'm using are from Yuli Watercolors um, on Etsy. And some of them are going to be my handmade ones, which will be going into my shop all the time. I'm going to be making different colors every time. So um, if you see new ones go in the shop, that means they're totally different colors. And I'm experimenting and I'm getting better. And hopefully soon there will be lots more available. But I don't want to sell a lot until I know that I'm improving and I'm getting better with it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm using a sponge. I'm using a paint tray with some water in it. And I get the sponge wet. Then I get the watercolor wet. And then I make sure that my whole sponge is covered in each color of watercolor. And I just dab it on, sponge it on. So it kind of looks like blurry, pretty lights in the background. Um, our focus is going to be on the table in front. Um, once these are resin, they're going to change completely. They might look boring to you right now in the background, but they're going to be very, very pretty under the resin. So that's just a, a little tip. Um, so now I've done like a, a table. This is going to be a table. I'm going to outline it with gold. Of course, there's going to be lots of gold. Um, I don't know about you, but I know any New Year's party I've been to, there's been a fair amount of gold, like on the decorations and stuff. Um, so of course I'm going to incorporate it. <laughs> Come on. You know me. <laughs> now I'm going to use white and a fine lining brush. I do have a tutorial for that. It's in the description of this video. And if you cannot find the description of this video, click on my video list on my channel and they are all there. There's like, I don't know, there might even be 240 videos there now. And they're all free. All you have to do is hit the like button if you like it, just so that I know what my family, my rock family, what they want, what they want more of. And so far you guys like gnomes. <laughs> um, you like gold, you like glitter, you like all sorts of stuff. So hopefully you like this one. Now, this one's just going to be a single champagne glass. I'm not good with doing realistic uh, paintings, so I'm sure the shine and glare and, and look of this is not going to be technical or, you know, fresh out of art school kind of thing. It's not going to be a perfect champagne glass, let's just say. And that's okay, because all I really want to do is get the point across that it's New Year's and we're celebrating together and yeah, we're going to make something pretty. That's all. Now I'm just trying to kind of make my champagne glass as nice as possible. We are going to be wrapping a purple ribbon around the stem and we're going to be putting a little card on the table and a little bit of glitter on the table, um, some champagne in the glass. It's going to look really pretty. We're going to be using more watercolors uh, for the champagne. And the watercolors that I'm using are going to be listed in the description of this video. Make sure you visit uh, Yuli Watercolors on Etsy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I am in love. I can't stop going and spending way too much money. <laughs> Thank you, Jeannie. I love you. You are one talented lady. Um, 
but yeah, I, I'm mesmerized by absolutely every video and picture that I see that she posts. <laughs> Just gorgeous. Um, and yes, so there is a lot of this incorporated. All of this metallic watercolor has been incorporated to make some of my rocks just a little bit more interesting, a little more pretty, uh, give them a little more, a little more Rachel's rocks, because <laughs> this is the kind of stuff I adore. I, I dream about glitter. <laughs> I want to paint like my bathroom walls with glitter. I just, I won't do that to my husband, but all of my rocks have glitter. And I'm not going to say sorry. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to be tossing around looking for the perfect glitter. This is from Yuli Water Pigments as well. Watercolor Pigments. Watercolor. Yuli Watercolor on Etsy. She also has Yuli Pigments. And I have also spent far too much money there recently. <laughs> so I'm going to be making my own uh, handmade watercolor buttons with her pigments. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, so stay tuned. Watch in the shop. They go really, really fast. And then I get a lot of complaint messages. Like, I thought you were putting them in your shop or, you know, I didn't get any. Are they, are they still available? No, they go very fast. I'm sorry. Um, my rocks go fast too. And I'm so grateful. I feel so blessed. And, you know, thanks to you guys who support me here on YouTube and, and PayPal and uh, Etsy, all of you, because of you, my kids had a great Christmas. So they thank you as well. They had an amazing Christmas. Um, but yeah, like I, I go, I let everybody know on Facebook, uh, that I'm posting and I give them time and then I get lots of mean messages <laughs> because they didn't get them. So I'm going to keep trying and I'm going to keep posting more and more. So keep an eye out in my shop and, uh, hopefully you're going to be able to snag some. They're getting better every time. I promise you, if you've purchased my first set, and then have tried like another set, you'll notice there's a change. I've gotten better. <laughs> I'm learning and uh, I'm making some really beautiful watercolors to play with. So keep an eye out in the shop. I promise you I'll be posting probably some every week, if not every other week. Um, so I'm still trying to perfect this champagne glass. It still looks a little loopy to me, um, but I really don't mind. It's it's not really something that I want to spend the rest of my New Year's Eve day doing um, because I am about to go have some, um, I don't know, some kind of, what are they called? Coolers, I guess. Coolers. <laughs> I'm going to have some coolers and I'm going to play some pool and we're going to play some music and I'm going to make pizza and... Yeah, my son, my oldest son is working until 9.30 and then we're going to play pool and have pizza. So I'm, I'm excited. Uh, we don't, we don't really do too much. We're not like social butterflies. We don't go out to the bars or anything like that. Um, but I do like to play pool and we, we got a pool table in the summer and I haven't played in months. So I'm excited to play. I'm going to try and kick some butt. <laughs> I'm lying. I lose every game, but I still have fun. And as long as there's snacks, I'll be happy. <laughs> but just know I'm thinking of all of you when the clock strikes midnight. Um, I will be wondering what all of you are doing all over the world. I have a lot of customers and uh, friends, artist friends that I've made, um, over the last few years and they're all over the world from New Zealand to Germany, Australia, Austria, um, England. Oh my goodness. All over the United States, all over Canada. Some people even in my own city <laughs> and I didn't even know. Um, so, you know, I am sending all of you love and 
I hope this year is amazing to you all. And I hope that you have a very safe and happy New Year's. So I have painted a purple ribbon around the stem and I'm lightening it with white using like a little blending brush. I have a tutorial for that in the description and in my video list as well. Uh, I'm just kind of blending on with a blending brush some white in some areas to kind of give that ribbon some shine, like it's satin almost, um, uh, so that it has a nice shine to it. I always like that kind of stuff. Doing little things like that just, just changes it a little because it makes it a little more pretty. Um, so you get the idea. Just kind of imagine where the light might hit a piece of ribbon um, when it's curled or, or whatever, and then go from there. And you just kind of keep blending with white and purple or whatever color you've chosen. Maybe you have color theme for New Year's um, and it's not purple. You can choose the color that you want for your ribbon around your glass. So the... Um, I wanted to mention that I've kind of used some water to kind of darken the circle at the top of the champagne to make it look like champagne a little bit more, make it look like a ring there. I don't know, make it look more realistic. You guys know. I don't know the technical terms to all this stuff. <laughs> and I never will. I never will retain the technical terms, I don't think. Um, anyway, I used a little bit of water because it is just watercolor glitter in the champagne glass um, or flute. So I'm adding a little bit more water to just kind of remove some of that glitter so that the top looks different from the rest of the glass, if you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? Do you see the difference? I'm also adding a little bit of purple watercolor to my ribbon. So not only does it glitter, but it shines and glitters. And I've added a few dots of gold in different sizes on the table. It just looks like gold confetti. Um, I'm sure the place is a mess. It's a party. <laughs> There's beautiful lights glimmering in the background. And uh, now we're making a little card. Oh. Need a little bit more shine on our on our champagne. So I've just kind of put like more of a glare off the side there over top of the champagne glitter. So you can just use different kinds of um, there's holographic paint that is just gold glitter. It's from folk art and I use that as well as folk art hologram. And I think it's called Folk Art Champagne. And it's literally champagne colored glitter. And that would go perfectly in here if you don't have a gold glittery watercolor. So Folk Art Champagne. Now I've done my little black card with the gold lettering 2022. You can change this up every year. And I'm just going to mess with the stem here a little bit longer because I don't really like what it looked like. And I'm just making sure that this is more circular and, and I had some sharp edges <laughs> that I just could not deal with any longer. Um, and now to finish it off, I'm going to just dot around, separate the black background from the natural stone, um, separate the painting, kind of frame it in. And they're just gold dots. You can use silver if you've been, if you prefer silver, use silver. Just use whatever color you used for instead of gold. Like everywhere I put gold, you could put silver. You could even use silver on the champagne glass. Now that it's been resined, <laughs> look at that. The lights glimmering in the background. Who knows what those lights are? Who knows where those lights lead to? It's a big party, maybe. Is it just a Christmas tree? Is it, is it fireworks? Who knows? It's your decision. You decide. <laughs> I love you guys. I just want to wish you again Happy New Year's. You guys got a double whammy today with the New Year's Nomies and the... 2022 champagne surprise party. Um, I hope I was able to inspire you a little, 
give you some ideas. Maybe you're going to be bored this evening. Maybe you just would rather be home painting than doing anything else. Um, I just want you guys to keep painting. Hit the share button. If you liked it or something about it, hit the like button. And I'll be back again in the new year. So keep those paint brushes out. Don't you put them away. Get your ideas ready so that you can comment them below. What do you want to see in 2022? Bye. I love you.